So the first length is going to go in here, and I'm going to put some pipe thread on this first. too tight because these the stainless steel galls, mm -hmm. meaning that the, the metal kind of binds and so it can be really hard to unthread it. So I'm only going to go in a certain distance. These we don't need to take out ever, but this one we will want to for shipping. Alright. Okay. So far so good. This one can be tight because it's can stay on one end of this. Mm -hmm. But just hand tight is all we need. Okay, now we'll put the next one in. Okay, so now we will feed these guys through again. And I'm doing this straight up so there's, so there's not a lot of friction on the wires, especially down below, down here, because this is kind of sharp, even though it's been um, cleaned out. There we go. Here's the next length. Over here. And this one will just be just until it starts to just get a little bit tight and then that's it. Okay, so we'll stop that one there. Alright, so we've got our top piece here. It'll, of course, will go on last. But there's also this piece here. So this piece here is what the customer then will attach some sort of bracket to fit on their boat. And since I don't know what their boat looks like, um, we just left this plain. But this then allows the whole unit to turn, and it's nice and slippery inside here, which is called um, uh, Delrin is the, is the uh, brand name, but acetyl is the type of material. So we're going to put that not on a top piece, but I'll probably put it, I don't know how high their gunnel is, but I'll assume that it's relatively high, so I'm going to put it on the middle piece. So first we have shorter lengths of pipe, so this makes it adjustable. Mm -hmm. So we're assuming that those first two lengths are going to be underwater or close to it, so they won't put this thing on one of those, um, but they will on one of these guys. So once again, we have three of these pieces. So we um, thread these small, these other little bits, and kind of straighten the cable out here. This cable is longer than it needs to be. But the advantage of having the long cable is that this whole system could then be, it can be dropped overboard, and you can get a nice stereo recording. You wouldn't really be able to get the direction, but it would, it would give a really, really cool stereophonic sound to the underwater recording. So try not to put this one on too tightly. Okay. okay, so that's good. And we will have the next one, but on this next one, this is where it's gonna be the middle one, but I'm gonna put this block this time. And the block is made to be unbolted and bolted on, as you can see, from the bolts on it. But to make my life easier right now, I'm just going to slide this out because I can. Okay. I'm going to pull these guys up here. OK, 
Okay, so now we just pull this guy up. What I'm going to do is flip it over, lift that up. Again, I don't need to make it very tight. Just tight enough. Okay. Okay, so this big washer here is used for the, the mounting block, really a guide sleeve. This is made so that then all the pressure is taken up against this coupling, but it's taken up over a broader surface area when it's on, the, um, on that block. You always want to put the pipe tape on so, but it's going in the direction that something will be tightened so that it doesn't. So when you tighten it, you continue to wrap the tape on. If you don't do it that way, what happens is you pull the tape off. Okay. Let's push into the threads. Screw this one on, and I'm going to screw this one on tightly. There we go. Wheel is tight on top, but not too tight here. And that's it. Now there's one piece here. Let's just show. Let's just it up and down. And if you look here, there's a piece, this piece right here. So this piece moves. And what you can do is once you get the wheel on as tight as you want, so you adjust this bit here so it is pointing along the direction of the whole thing. So it's right in between the two hydrophones. So that way, as you're steering it, when it's in the water, it'll tell you which way things are pointing. And you tighten it down with the wing nuts. Put this one in place. There you go. You tighten it down so it's locked in place. And now you know what direction the wings are coming from. Okay, so you see down here, this is actually a it's a cross rather than a rather than a, a T, which was the original design. We did a cross for two reasons. One, it lets water flood in and out. So you want that. The other thing is that when we feed the hydrophones in, they come through. If you look at the end here, this is also a T instead of just an elbow. That way when we feed the cables in, we can start putting them down and then we can push them in from this side to make sure they're bending the right way. It makes it much easier. When then they get over here, we can push in this way to bend them up because they have to feed around two 90 degree angles and it takes a bit of work to feed it all through. But then it floods out of here, out of here, and out of there. 